Well, my name is John Kay. I came to the City College in 1965 as a member of the Political Science Department. I was hired by Dr. Robert Kassir, whom I had taught a course, a summer course, uh, before a year or so earlier. It was a vacancy and I was fortunate enough to uh, get it. I was uh, been a member of the full-time faculty from 1965 to 2007. And during those 42 years, a couple of observations I think could be made and one immediately that comes to my mind is how quickly it went. How fast the time flies when you're involved, not just in the classroom, but in the college, the campus, in the community. Uh, but by the same token, as I've been retired since 19, or 2007, and time's continues to move. And I can tell all people who are teaching, it doesn't slow down during retirement. It keeps moving on. But one of my first observations, I think, would be here, would be to make some general comments about uh, things that I learned and certain attitudes that I had that served me well and maybe can serve some of the new faculty well. And uh, one of them is uh, uh, what you put into the city college, the more you put into the college, the more you're going to get out. The more you're involved, the more you're going to receive. Uh, you get back what you put in plus. And I think that's something that to me really was quite, quite true. The more I got involved, the more satisfying the job was. The happier the job was, the more content the job was. That's not to say that every day was a Pollyanna day or went extremely well. Uh, but the more you got involved, the more you got it committed with the classroom, with the students, the better off you were and hopefully the college was. And the second thing that I think that I learned early enough that benefited me and hopefully maybe some new teachers is the idea that Santa Barbara City College really is a community. It's a community. The more you're involved in that community, the better off you're going to be. The more you participate in that community and the community of teachers, or call it the community of scholars, the community of uh, the uh, student body, the community of the uh, entire institution and beyond, the more rewards again there's going to be. It is a community. Uh, during the first days of my political science classes, I used to tell the students, uh, over and over again that uh, the founders of this discipline that I was teaching, the ancient Greeks, used to say uh, and ask the question, how should you live your life? And they responded uh, as a productive member of the polis, as a productive member of the community, the political community. And our community is the city college, among other things. And I think that is extremely important that the students learn, which leads me to my kind of third observation, and that is that uh, teaching is more than uh, being competent. And I think that's a first thing. You don't want to have anybody who's not, competence in the classroom is important. And the second thing would be to point out what's important, to separate the wheat from the chaff to the students, to point out what's really important. And three is to help the students learn in that subject. But there's more to teaching than that. Teaching by example, I think, is also important. Teaching as a role model is also important. And I learned that early at the City College, and I think I benefited from it, hopefully the college. Uh, two of the people involved in uh, Robert Kassir, who's sitting near me right now. He's always involved in the community. That's an example, teaching by example, not just in the classroom. Fred Hoffman, who was very active in beginning the internship program at the City College, is one of the most prolific writers to the Santa Barbara News Press, telling his students he's teaching by example, you know? Uh, Bob Gray was on the board of directors for a long time at the Santa Barbara Museum of Natural History, as was uh, uh, Bob Profont a long-time biology. They're teaching by example. P. 
Peter Haslin, my colleague, after he retired, was elected to the Board of Trustees, became the first president under the new uh, period here, of new board. All teaching, I think, by example. Barbara Lindemann right now is president of the Mission Canyon Association, of which I'm also a member. And so I think that uh, those three observations, I think, are important. The idea that uh, we are a community, that you get more out of it the more you put in, that teaching is more than just a classroom presentation. Any teacher should bring to the classroom at least three things. I have mentioned that a little earlier. One being competency in your subject matter, the other being the ability to point out what's important, to separate the wheat from the chaff, and hopefully deliver the wheat, and to help students learn in that. Uh, one of the innovations we had, I mentioned also, was the internship. And to be able to place students in the office of the mayor of Santa Barbara or congressional offices, state senators, state assemblymen, various public and private agencies that are interested in public affairs. I can remember putting a student in a summer class, internship, he asked for it, in the United States Senator Ted Kennedy's office in Massachusetts. Another kid, uh, we were able to get him an internship in NBC News. In fact, I got his hat here. That's why I brought it. Decision 04, NBC News, one of my students worked and came back with unbelievable enthusiasm, uh, having met Tom Brokaw and the whole crew there, worked at the Democratic National Convention in the year 2004. These are rewarding. And the more, as I say, you put in, the more you get back from these things. The campus abroad programs were very important. Uh, I was fortunate to be able to get engaged in nine of them, seven of them to England and two to China, one to China and Vietnam, the other to China and Japan. All of those unbelievably rewarding experiences and hopefully benefiting students as well. As far as the college is concerned in terms of my involvement beyond the classroom. I spent a good deal of my time with the Instructors Association, although I was fortunate and felt a great deal of gratitude of being elected to the president of the Academic Senate uh, back in the 70 period. I can remember one day looking through a, uh, a series of uh, what's going on uh, bulletins coming from other community colleges and saw that Pasadena City College had a something called an annual faculty lecture. I said, that's a good idea. You know, as the leader of the Senate, you're kind of trolling for ideas here, there, and elsewhere. And I brought that before the Senate. Talked to, at that time, President David Murdys about it, about the possibility that it could be funded, about the fact that the board would support it, endorse it. And we were able to introduce that. Mike uh, Basson was also involved in introducing that idea as a member of the Senate, and I was the president. But I'm quite proud of that. Joan Grumman, who had a little place in Cambridge, England, proposed the idea that we have a campus abroad program for a semester length in Cambridge, England. England lends itself to English classes, obviously Shakespeare, British literature, and it's a wonderful place to study uh, as well. Cambridge itself is a magnificent town. She was soon joined by Ginny Weber, and then I came in maybe on the third year of it, my first year in Cambridge. Students have an opportunity to see things not as they hear about them or read about them, but in many ways as they are. An opportunity to get involved in a culture and to live with a family an opportunity to see things that they would never see, and in many ways an opportunity to mature. Uh, even beyond the classroom, they're moving by planes and trains and automobiles and so forth, and uh, developing a sense of worldliness, developing a sense of confidence in themselves. And you see it. An opportunity to uh, visit and sit on the very floor of the House of Commons 
where Churchill and Attlee and the Wellingtons and uh, many of the others greats were. An opportunity to go to Stonehenge, the ancient spots, and to Bath, the Roman sites. But beyond that, an opportunity to be absorbed in the culture a little bit of England and then to travel in the continent during a break. So these are tremendous experiences that students have. I can't tell you how many students have to use those campus abroads to alter their life's goals and careers. Many become interested in international. I had a student who went to China and completely changed her major and wanted to get into the problems of international agencies and international efforts dealing with water. Changed, went to Cal Poly and, and, and uh, began to study water issues and agricultural issues and now is doing that. So it's a, it's a life changer in many, many ways, personal and career-wise, and you see it. Sometimes you don't see that change in the classroom as much, but you never forget those experiences abroad. And sometimes it's the very small things that you do, you know, and you don't even recognize at the time the importance of them. I can remember I was with our students in Ely Cathedral, which is about 12 miles north of Cambridge, England. Massive cathedral. And uh, we were going through the cathedral there, and uh, I saw a student on the side. All these cathedrals have these places where they have candles, you know, and you can light a candle. The student was standing there. So I just walked up to him and I said, I put a quarter, I think, of whatever it was in the little box and took out a candle and I said, hey, here's a candle, light it for somebody. I said, and then I walked away. I just did that because the student was there. Years later, I got a letter from that student saying that was one of the most poignant moments in his life. Or, you know, at that point, he did it for his grandmother. And uh, because she had helped him go there and she had died after he had left. And that that little moment he would never forget.